be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and you're watching yet another beer review. Thank you so much for joining me. Smash that thumbs up button in the face, and let's just get into it, shall we? For the beer of the today, we've got a can of pomegranate and grapefruit sour by the Collective Arts Brewing Company out of Hamilton, Ontario, coming at 5.6% ABV. Had their uh, passion fruit something sour recently, and um, I liked it quite a bit. So I'm generally not a big fan of grapefruit, like Rattlers and stuff like that. I tend to avoid if they're grapefruit Rattlers, but if it's pomegranate and grapefruit mixed in a way that doesn't make the grapefruit jump out of my face, it might actually be something I could enjoy. So with that in mind, let's crack it open and let's see what we've got. Uh, it's got a bit of a color to it, kind of pinkish, orange hue kind of going on. Art on this can is from Amber Vittoria out of New York. And it's, I call that pretty minimalist style, I guess. Looks all right. Interesting. It's a really nice color, actually. Really, like a pinky orange color. I can't really. Goes from one to the other depending on the light. Really bright white head. And not actually a lot of fruit aroma coming off that. I'm really I'm getting just a lot of that kind of sour funkiness. Which doesn't smell great, but I've had enough sour beers to not care about that smell anymore. Really not getting like the pomegranate and grapefruit of the aroma. It's kind of weird. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. That's not bad. Really not sour. Nicely tart and kind of sweet. I like it. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. The grapefruit is not the star of the show, and I like that. It blends so nicely with that pomegranate flavor. Almost like a touch of vanilla or something in the overall flavor as well, I'm getting. I could just be my palate losing its mind, though. It does that on occasion. Get you all in there. This was canned on August 25th. Currently October 20th. So, it's not super fresh. Two months, though. That's not that bad at all. August, September, October. Pretty much on two months. That's fine. And this one has ingredients. I want to see the last one I had. Was it the IPA number 12 or the sour? 14, sorry. I can't remember. They're really weird with the hit or miss ingredients on their beers. Water, wheat malt, barley malt, pomegranate puree, grapefruit puree, flaked oats, hops, and yeast. Contains wheat and barley and oats. See, this is what I wanted to see on that freaking Collingwood beer I had. That had the natural strawberry flavor no i want to see something like puree they use pomegranate puree and grapefruit puree which is like that's what you want you just take a bunch of the I'm not sure when you're making grapefruit or pomegranate puree i'm assuming they wouldn't have the skins in there i don't know though like both pomegranates and grapefruits Grapefruit skin, I know, is just like horribly bitter. It's like an orange peel, but grapefruit. Pomegranate skin, I've never actually tried it, but that doesn't look like something to be appealing. The pomegranate's got like the delicious little seed kind of berry things inside of it. I don't know. Whatever the puree is, it works way better than the natural flavor does. CollectiveArtsBrewing.com. We'll bring you to 
collectiveartsbrewery.com and they have a new location that I would love to go check out. Because to be honest, I've been to the location in Hamilton and the building itself is like all inspiring. It is massive. It is just a huge facility, especially for being a craft brewery. Like it's like, I think it used to be some other cool beer or something like that. I can't recall, but some big brewery used to have that place. And Collective Arts took it over from what I know. And yeah, like you go in there and the tap room, like the tasting area is just, it's tiny. And just, I was so unimpressed. I'm, I'm hoping the new one, look at that, it just came back again for me. It looks like it might be a bit nicer. It's a brewery, tap room, kitchen. The other location has no kitchen that I know of. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there is like a an odd little note of vanilla I'm getting in that. It's unusual. I have no problem with it. It actually kind of works, but it's a little bit odd. Let's go with that. Um, Untapped has got this sitting at a 3.67 out of 5 with 942 ratings overall. And there's actually a little bit of a write-up here. The pomegranate and grapefruit sour showcases a unique balance between tart and sweet. It's a fine line to walk, but we left it in the hands of fermentation and it didn't let us down. This fruity pear is meant to satisfy your thirst and be deliciously refreshing. I wasn't feeling unrefreshed, so I can't really speak to the refreshing quality of it. It would be a pretty amazing beer to have on a hot summer day. Like if I had had this when it was canned on the 25th of August, it was like, it, it snowed today for the first time this year. I don't like the snow. I live where there's lots of snow, but I don't like the snow. It's uh, a lot of fun. Anyway, this, I like it quite a lot. It's got date, it's got ingredients. I'm going to give that a pretty solid 8.75. Why not? I barely ever do the quarters. It's pretty damn good. I'm not sure what would really make it blow my mind. If, if it was like really sour, sour, sour. I'd be a huge fan of that. But it's really good, and um, if it's still available near you, get yourself some. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it, because we're done here. My cat's going to attack the other cat, I think. Should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back something like this pretty freaking soon. A piece out. Slightly moved my camera... For this review i'm trying i was trying to i noticed that it, it was portraying my coffee table as if it was all angled because i had the camera over there angled this way and i moved it over so now it's basically straight on i feel like this is better i don't know it's, it's a constant work in progress <laughs>